Let's see how we can access different elements from the data frame. If we do it by indexing, it's exactly the same way as we do it with numpar arrays. Here, we will display the first row and first column of the iris data frame. To do it, we use attribute iLog and provide the indexes of row and of the column. Let's see. 5.1, we can see that's the first row and first column, which happens to be sepal length. Now let's access second and third rows of the third column. You can see we're using it the same way as with numparay and with list, we're using slicing because it's gonna be one, which is the second element, up to the third, which is not included. And we can see we also get information because we are printing more than just one number that we are printing from the column petal length. Is that the case? Yes, it is. Now we can access first 10 rows and last three columns in the same way. Now let's create new cells to access the last row and the fifth column. Can copy the code from previously. We're going for last row so we can use minus one and fifth column so it will have index four. And now finally let's create a row where we will access last row and last two columns. Last row we can access by minus one because we don't really know how many rows we have but uh, we know that we have four columns, so between three and five will be index of last two columns.